Everybody. Welcome back. It's another installment of Spirit. Show me a sign. It's Tarot Tuesday. Yes, it is. Here we are. We made it through Monday. It's Tuesday. Woohoo! So I am going to do a general reading. It's for the collective. Not all of the messages are going to be for everybody who watches, but you know, hopefully you'll get some answers and you know, kind of know what's coming down the pike here. Um, happy holidays to everyone, but let's get right into our reading spirit. Show me a sign. What do we need to know most at this time? What messages do you have for everyone out here? Um, feel free to comment down below. Uh, like, share, of course, subscribe. I always welcome new subscribers. Uh, make sure you check out my other channel, the Kitchen Witch Supernatural Cooking and Tarot Show. We've already done our first live broadcast, so uh, that's my other passion is cooking, but it's a little bit different. It's a cooking show with a tarot reading, tarot reading thrown right in there. So check it out. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, and I am available for personal readings. Those of you who've uh, signed up for the mailing list at my website, um, are probably receiving um, discount emails. That is me. It's not spam. I send them out about once a month. Uh, for returning clients, you get a discount off of a 30 or 45 minute reading. So check your, check your inbox. If you've uh, had a reading with me before, you would have received that email. All right, let's see what's going on here. We're going to pull an energy message first. So it's just going to be a quick, brief reading. And don't forget, I do go live Wednesday mornings around 9 a.m. Central for the Hump Day Love Shack reading. Check it out. Oh, you've got the maiden. A new relationship blossoms. All right, she's getting sick and tired of waiting, our little bachelorette here. <laughs> she's like... When is this dude going to show up? Her rose is starting to wilt. She's got one last stuff to give. Some of you may have recently met someone or recently reconnected with someone. And uh, it's in the early stages, early stages of something. We'll take a peek at the bottom. We've got the dagger, conflict and danger lies in wait. Okay, so some of you could be torn between two lovers. Uh, maybe somebody wasn't stepping up and maybe you've recently met someone new and you don't want to create any conflict or drama or some of you feel like you need to speak your truth because someone um, isn't stepping up here. You're getting tired of being single <laughs> oh I feel that I feel it I feel it I feel it you guys let's dig a little deeper here some of you are getting tired of starting over with someone new you're getting tired of having to 
repeat your life story with new people. to know about this new blossoming relationship. Six of Cups, this could be with someone from your past that you already know. Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion here. Somebody's got their head up their butt. Then you got the Three of Pentacles. That's good. Ace of Wands, mm -hmm. the world. Okay. There's some sort of successful completion here. Coming full circle. Somebody's coming back around to you. They might have been a little bit confused. They might have treated you like you were an option. Or somebody is suffering the consequences of their poor decisions. Somebody chose the Lipton cup of, cup of worms instead of the lobster bisque. Yes, they could have had that tasty lobster bisque. The oyster stew, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But no, they chose the Lipton cup of worms. Now they're having a change of heart. Now they want to build with you. They want to work with you. You want, you want a relationship. You want to build with somebody. You're laying down a strong foundation here. But it's taking a long time. Okay, this is two people who are cooperating, working together here. You could have met this person in a place of work, a place of business. Uh, there might be a lot of online communication. Somebody's very randy. Somebody might be coming in to extend the olive branch here. The Ace of Wands is uh, could be an apology, but it's an opportunity. It's taking inspired action. There's an opportunity for someone to take inspired action here. And get their head out of their butt here. Somebody's living living in fantasy land here. Somebody wants something real. They don't want to, you know, so if somebody's coming, showing up with just their wand, they better be bringing just more than their wand here into this connection. This maiden deserves all of that in a bag of chips here. Online dating has not cracked up <laughs> to be what you thought it was. It's a lot of fake people. You know, people, of course, they're going to say anything they want online. You want someone that you can actually build a future with. Something real. Um, yeah. And, but this is someone from your past here. Somebody could be confused about the past or what took place before, wondering, was I imagining this or was this real? Was it live or is it Memorex? Oh my gosh, our poor maiden. But, you know, she's got the whole world in her hand here. You know, she... Somebody's trying to figure out their place in this world, but there's a successful completion. You're about to embark on the next phase of your life here with this connection with somebody. This is about connection, wholeness with someone from your past. They may be coming in to apologize. They may have thought that you they were going to squeak by with a friends with benefits or a, a fling or a one night stand and that is not what you're looking for. Somebody's looking for a love that's built to last. There could be children involved. Somebody may have kids from a previous relationship. Um, but we're going we're gonna to clarify the maiden in the world here. Why is this? What's up with this maiden? What's up with this maiden? All right. You've got the five of wands. 
There's a lot of jealousy, drama, competition here. Somebody may have put this maiden in a place of competition. Okay, there's a lot of conflict, problems to solve. Somebody's got a lot on their plate, but five is a number of change. Somebody's coming out of this. So you might be worried that you've got other people chasing after your fine ass. With your bad self. Yes. They might be worried that someone else is going to come and snatch you up. Because you got a lot to offer. You, you got the whole world here. It's like you could offer someone the entire world. You got a lot to offer. So just know your worth. Know your value here. You don't have time for these wishy-washy players. I just had a, a, a two-hour conversation with one of my um, close girlfriends last night, and she is she's so so beautiful. And man, it's she's just struggles with guys, you know. And I, I you know, I just feel like the more the more um, beautiful you are. You know, when you're strong, you're intelligent, you're sexy, you just tend to attract the wrong people. You know, these toxic masculines who, you know, want the trophy wife or whatever, and they lead with, with material things and not with their heart. Women want a man with some soul, with some heart, with who's affectionate, kind, loving, nurturing, you know, but not too girly. <laughs> we don't like girly men. <laughs> Somebody who's strong, but spiritual. Does, I don't know, does a guy like that exist? You know, they're very masculine, like very manly, but also very loving and Kind and sweet. Sensitive. The world, yeah, you've got the Six of Swords, which is also underneath the world in, in the deck here. But yeah, moving forward. Somebody is, you know, putting, putting some stuff behind them here. Foundation's already been laid. Somebody now needs to take action. Somebody's afraid that you're going to move on. You know, and you know, you got these, somebody's taking their swords with them. I don't know. I wouldn't, I would just, this is stuff from your past. You know, it's like you, it's like you'll always, it's like you'll be able to forgive, but you'll never be able to forget. These are the things that make us who we are. But moving forward now into calm waters. On the bottom of the clarifying deck, just to take a peek, is the hermit. Yes, yeah, somebody's, sorry for the, these are your um, holographic cards, but got the hermit Virgo energy here. So somebody's doing some soul searching here. Somebody's being guided to either piss or get off the pot here. Literally, this is, this is the energy here. There is no confusion. There should be no confusion. I don't know, but you're being guided here. You're somebody already knows the answers. The answers come from deep within. They need to figure out. It's like, is this going to be bros before hoes? Not that you're a hoe, <laughs> but somebody has that mentality of bros before hoes. Like they're they're just you know out chasing after other things. I don't know. Somebody's going through a midlife crisis here. I think. And somebody's getting sick and tired of waiting for somebody to grow the fuck up and find, you know, somebody's looking for the right person who wants what they want. Let's get some advice from Spirit. I'll grab some love cards for you. But I think someone's going to take some time and think about it. 
and uh, make a decision here. Are they going to let you slip through their hands again? Are they going to let you get away again? You did it before. So are they going to let that happen again? Strength. Somebody has a lot of strength, courage. Okay. Somebody took their power back. Somebody's a strong, independent bay. She don't need no man. Except when, when the peanut butter jar is stuck. <laughs> or you, you need that spider killed. <laughs> oh. You're stronger than you know. But a lot of us are getting tired of being strong and tired of going through stuff that doesn't kill us but makes us stronger. Look, somebody admires your strength and beauty. Alrighty. Okay, you've got new love. Destiny is guiding you to new love. Trust your intuition. Yeah, somebody's looking for a commitment. Marriage, you've got cupids and wedding bells. New love. Now, this could be with somebody completely new, or it could be a renewal of love, or somebody's conflicted if they want to get in a relationship again. Maybe somebody needs to move on from their past. Somebody's hanging on to the past. Snowflake crystal. This love bond is as unique as a snowflake. Once in a lifetime love. Somebody is conflicted and confused. They're like, they know this is something unique and different. They've never met anybody like you before. This is a once in a lifetime love. This isn't like anybody from your past. This is different. And something's taking place here during... The winter season. Missing you. Thoughts of you on their mind, considering feelings and emotions. They miss their little geisha. They miss their little kimono queen. They miss you. Because you're different. And then on the bottom is new chapter. A new chapter in your book of love is calling you for a fresh start. Somebody wants to, to start over again. Maybe this connection got off on the wrong foot. Somebody's starting to confront their hidden fears, doing some soul searching, trying to figure out, you know, do you wanna do you wanna Die alone in old age, you know, after all of all of the bros are gone. Nobody's around. What's what, who's going to be there with you on the rest of this journey? Somebody's looking for their ride or die. And you deserve that. You shouldn't settle for anybody who's. If they don't know what they want, then just leave. Don't even don't even waste your time with people that don't know what they want or they got a lot of other stuff going on, you know, go find somebody else who's, you know, emotionally and physically available to you. Who's ready for what you're you're wanting, you know. So, but somebody's missing you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That's what I have for you. I hope to see you tomorrow morning around 9 a.m. Central for the Hump Day Love Shack reading. Chat room will be lit, yo. Coffee and kimonos, messy hair, don't care. Get your coffee and bitch flakes. We're going to hang out at the table here in our, in our PJs as we do every Wednesday morning. All right, you guys, until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye.